the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. Blessed be the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessings in the heavenly realms. Hallelujah. People of God, our theme for reflection today is act in line with the truth of the gospel. Act in line with the truth of the gospel. Galatians chapter 2, 11 to 21. Galatians chapter 2, 11 to 21. Say, Yeshu, any Yabrabo, any Yangopo, Asemono, Asempano, Bese, Asempano, Yebeka. The gospel. Hallelujah. So, people of God, what Paul does here in the rest of the chapter is to tell us how to not just believe not just how to believe the gospel, but to actually walk straight in accordance with the truth of the gospel. So here yeah, he's telling us how to take the ticket off of our fridge and actually cash it out so that we receive it full value. This is the really the theological heart of Galatians. There is so much here that we could spend months talking about it. But let's focus on one big picture and make sure we understand and broad outlines of what Paul is saying. So number one, first, he said, get it through your head that nobody is accepted by God based on his or her own performance. <laughs> Asempano, yes, you and Cassa, and then the one bar for your buying, and ye and Papa ye be a ya dumbia if he Christ to her. So, the problem we have in living in line with the gospel is that we have a really hard time believing that we are completely accepted on the basis of what Jesus has done rather than what we have done. So, we consider the truth, we are acting in line when we consider what Jesus has done. Not what we have done. We carry nothing. We have done nothing. What the Lord has done. Bible said that greater love it is for someone to lay down his life for his friends. So people of God, we ourselves are Jews by birth and not Gentile sinners. Yet, we know that a person is not justified by works of the law. But through faith in Jesus Christ, a person is not justified by works of the law, but by true faith in Jesus Christ. So we also have believed in Christ Jesus in order to be justified by faith in Christ and not by works of the law. Because by works of the law, no one will be justified. We are acting in line with the truth of the gospel because we are not justified by works. We are not justified by works. We are justified by Jesus Christ. Faith in Christ has justified us. Hallelujah. Second, realize that when we try to earn God's approval through our own performance, we are sinning. Yes. We cannot please God by our own performance. We please God through Jesus Christ. But if our endeavor to be justified in Christ, we too are found to be sinner. Is Christ then a serv- servant of sin? Certainly not. For if I rebuild what I tore down, I prove myself to the transgressor. Here yeah, Paul is talking. For through the law, I died to the law so that I may live to God. I pray that we will live to God. And here Paul said that I've been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I will live. But Christ who lives in me. And the life I live in the flesh. I live by faith in the Son of God. I pray that the Lord will help us. I pray that the goodness of God will be with us. I pray that we live with acts in the line with the truth of the gospel. 
Mama yen nante no kure ni mjidi ya asempano. Mama yen fa asempano nante asempano kure. Na ewuradia domo no ayeke se edi amaye. I pray that may the Lord help us. Bible says we shall know the truth and the truth shall make us free. May we know the truth of the gospel. The truth of the gospel that Jesus came to die for our sins. That our performance cannot save us. That our works cannot save us. We have been justified by faith in Christ Jesus Christ. Let us hold fast on this truth. Let us walk in line with this truth. It is not by our performances. It is by what Jesus has done on the cross. And on the cross, he said, it is finished. That the last time, I pray that Jesus has finished it. Jesus has finished whatever you are going through. The Christ, Jesus Christ, has done for us. So what Jesus has done, we are walking in his steps. We are walking in what Jesus has achieved for us. We are walking in what God has done on the cross for us. Not our works. But it is by his grace. May God be with you. If you are sick, I minister healing to you. May you be touched by the power of the Holy Spirit. May the anointing of God touch your life. May God bless you and keep you. May the anointing of the Holy Ghost carry through the week. And I pray that God will order your steps. And I invoke the blessings of God over your life. That goodness and mercy shall follow you. All the days of your life. May you be the head and not the tail. May you be a and not be near. God bless you and keep you. My name is Reverend Foster Kofi Ampofo, Minister of Praetorian Church of Ghana, Minister in Charge of Revival and Resurrection Congregations. Peace and life to you. Bye-bye.